Shalom. First off, I want to start by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rekakadash. It's all praises to who the world calls God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem meaning in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the name of, of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the hopeful elect, all you that are truly, truly following the Lord and all that he said. I'm the brother Tazabah in the Great Millstone, Arizona Camp, Lord Will, with another video to edify. And um, I'm going to start with the scriptures. This is Luke, uh, Luke 12 and 17. It says, And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow, bestow my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat and drink and be merry. But the most High said unto him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then those things, it says, uh, then shall those things be which thou hast pro provided. So is he that laid up treasure for himself, but is not rich to the most High. Right, and I gotta play this video with this manly looking woman, but uh, peep what's going on. You see, so all you that have stored up all these goods in this world, you've you've only tried to add to your flesh. <laughs> that 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 American dream is corroding, right? When these interest these, let me uh, you know what I gotta replay it because I forgot I have my earphones on. All right, Joe Biden is lacing America with misery, as far as the eye can see. Americans of all backgrounds are looking across a dismal economic landscape. The signs of despair, you see them, I see them, they're building. You see, so that American dream is corroding away. And if you did nothing with your life but add to your flesh, right? You're going to be rich to, the, to, your, to your flesh, but you want rich towards the most high. The Lord's going to require your soul because you didn't do anything towards him. And a lot of people are in that mindset. There's people out there that believe that the family spirit is that is being godly, and that's not what it's about. Being godly is doing what the Lord said. Being godly is being devoted to what the Lord said, and a lot of people have no devotion to what the Lord commanded. And the ones that sit here and act like they do, and they might have a few works, they'll sit there and do it reluctantly. And the Lord said he, he loves a cheerful giver, right? But a lot of people give up themselves to the Lord, uh, especially the especially women, bro. They'll say they gave themselves up to the Lord and they're trying to do what the Lord says, but it's all reluctantly. So now that that dream is crumbling. Watch, watch a little more of this. And the fury is growing toward President Biden. It is astounding. Now, I don't love drowning you all in numbers. 439 for Valero gas. That Valero gas is discounted gas. Worst gas you can put in your car. I hate that, but I'm going to make an exception tonight because it's that important. 66% disapproval for Biden's handling of the economy. My question is, who are these 34% who approve of it? As for Scranton Joe's answers for the middle class, only 36% say he's helping with the middle class. That's down from uh, a whole 5% from February. And Americans see what's happening, I think. Look at this. They're getting poorer as days go on. They remember how Biden's dim-witted Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, remember when she just brushed off inflation concerns a year ago? We made a big deal of it here on The Angle. And today, we saw a historic rate hike, a desperate move with terrible consequences for hardworking Americans.
as interest rate hikes mean it will be more expensive to borrow money. If you're trying to buy a home, experts say, the asking price may not be much higher than it is now, but... The cost to buy that house is going to be higher, um, so because mortgage rates are going up. That means many new homeowners will not... <laughs> So that means that American dream is dead, man. That buying a house, living good, you know, having somewhere you can put some money into for the next 20, 30 years, pass it on. That shit's gone. And, more, and the, the, the Fed at the, towards November of last year, 2021, they sat there and said that they were going to be uh, raising the interest rate a total of uh, six or seven times, I believe it was. Right, and you have to raise the interest rate to slow slow inflation, which causes what scrutiny, less and less here, more and more expensive things. Right, and this is what they're doing now. This is why it tells you, Micah. Let's get that. Arise, Micah two and ten. Arise, ye and depart, for this is not your rest. It is because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And how many people out there got these these loans that they thought were so good that after 15 years, you know, after 10 years, they'll be able to refinance and get a better loan. And they're still in that shitty ass adjustable rate mortgage loan. And now interest rates are going up. So what their payment, their their house payment is going up. Their mortgage is going up. And they're not going to be able to afford it because they could barely afford food and bills. The price of energy all over the world is shooting up. But you put all your energy into this world and you didn't put any energy into the Lord. All right, it's a story of riches. Let's get that. This treasure, so like you. Well, Matthew six and twenty, it says, "But lay." Uh, I started nineteen. It says, "Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal." Right, and this is what people have done. They they only laid up treasures on earth. They've only laid up treasures on earth. When it talks about the treasures that you need in heaven, these people are, are deficient, right? They're extremely deficient. Insufficient funds. And when the time comes to where you want to pull out of that spiritual treasury, you're going to go to that spiritual ATM and the Lord is going to send you a, a angel with a demon right behind him so the demon could kick your ass afterwards for trying to get out money that you know you didn't have. And he's going to, that angel's going to tell you insufficient fun and sick that demon on you. Right. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. for where your treasure is. There will your heart be also. And a lot of people's treasure was what in the flesh or what? This is all up in what's going on in the world. And those things are starting to fail, man. Right. I went to go check on my 401k because I wanted to pull the money out. Right. And they were sitting there like, ah, the, you know, the, the the stock market just, you know, took a major hit. There might be less money in there than was before. So I'm like, hold the fuck up. I'm put, I, I, I didn't know I was having money put into this shit. Money's put into it. And they're saying somehow the money that I already have in it. It's going to be less than what's already been put in it. You know, this this world is fucked up, bro. That makes no sense. Right? It makes no sense. And, and, and hey, this is, the Lord is about to do away with America, man. Let's get this one. Luke 10 and 18, it says, And he said unto me, unto them, I beheld Satan falling as lightning uh, and I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. Right. And who is Satan? He has a spiritual counterpart. The word Satan only means adversary. Right. So the adversary, which is Esau, Edom, 
as lightning, meaning in a quick fashion, is falling from heaven. And that heaven is that rulership position. His kingdom is going down. Everybody's talking shit about him. His money ain't worth nothing. It's all going down. This is this this is this is, this is what's happening, man. Yeah, that that American dream is gone. You know, you got these manly ass Edomite women looking hurt. Hurt, look in her mouth. Hurt. Hurt, bro. Cause this shit is over. Shalom.